Because people don't want that down. Yeah, they'll run it out of the shotgun. They'll rip off eight oh, on that play. It's second and two. Plays like that. 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 Plays like I just love yeah. quarterbacks that aren't greedy. What if I, what if I just always felt, try to just throw the whole run, run ball, right? Okay, Second down, you're on the end of the field. Yeah, instead, and the and guy you want to throw is not open, just find the back. Yeah, don't throw it. Just don't back. This guy yeah. is yeah. a weapon. Yeah. you got to yeah. find him in the passing game. Some guys, you have to find their audience. And then once they find their audience, then the people go for them for that kind of And that was the case with Mitch Hedberg. That's the case right now with William Montgomery. Like, William Montgomery, you know, can I tell you? Yeah, I didn't kill Tony last night for the first time. Well, they execute the guy. How about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that guy. They're sitting there watching this guy. Receivers telling the quarterback what they're saying. There's cameras on. What happens if he hits you? He's going to have to stick. He's going to have to stick. He's going to have to stick. And he see him up dead. Like when you see, when, and then when people become a fan of his, because he's got a few balls out there, and then when you go see him by the black man, he came to my podcast, and he didn't come to the podcast, and he said, dude, he can weigh him off on the right now. Is he going to be on stage? I don't know, I'm sure he's going to knock him off. So he was going to get... You knew who he was, and he fucking murdered him. The inside handoff. At the 15, he's loose. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. The 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Black Knights! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Man, it's easy to call plays when I got guys like this who can take the ball and rip it 70-plus to the house. How about the speed? He showed you a little bit of wiggle. This dude's got it all. Nice touchdown run by the running back. Off play action on first down. Looking deep. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Seizing that open space, an opportunity all the way inside the red zone. They'll mark it at the 19. The entire complexion of this possession changed on that one play. Now they've got it first and 10 inside the 20. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. From the red zone, looking for a man. And the pass is incomplete, but it might not matter. Flag is down, and it looked That's as if the defense was defense. roughing up that receiver. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Using his legs, it's Robinson. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Give him 109 yards on the ground, and he came into this game leading the nation in rushing. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Army! And the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. We want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen.
Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Got the first down and more. Lowers those pads. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Well, the defense knew coming into this one, Reese, that this team was going to try to use their speed and take advantage of it, and they did right there. Nice gain on the run play to the right. Found plenty of running room in that defense. They've got to find a way to get there, make the tackle in the open field. Yeah, and they got to do a good job with their eyes, finding the football, and they've got to get a lot of bodies to this guy because he is fast. Quick strike complete. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Staying physical in the red zone as he's pulled down after picking up three balls at the 14. Got three on first down at second and seven. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. It's third down now. And they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Catch in the middle. It's Benson. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Brock Knight. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains, and set your defense for positive situations down the road. Got it in the middle, it's short. Tackle is made after the first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Let's go! It's a draw. Makes it past the marker. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And the Black Knights will line it up on first and ten. He wants to throw. They'll run the screen. Still running at the 40. Bulldozes him. Dismisses another dude. Touchdown, Army! And they take it in for six more points. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this and running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get it in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity. Now they'll run the draw. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. He wants to throw here on second down. Unleashes it. Got his man. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. And the offense going deep down in the field, you can see the speed they have at wide receiver. These guys scare you to death because their ability to stretch the defense and take the top off of the defense. You saw it right there, and all of a sudden this offense is in the red zone. He gave him time to react, and he almost pulled off the interception. Instead, it'll be second down. He's looking to throw. Deep shot for the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. 
If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, going up top. Fires into the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Rock Knights! And that's his second receiving touchdown of the game. My man is just finding pay dirt. Tell you what, these are the kind of guys that you continue to feature throughout a game. He can do this kind of damage after he catches the football. No surprise, looks as if they'll be content just to head to the locker room. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in West Point for an entertaining first half than you? And it's been a battle of wills between these two teams through two quarters. Bend, but don't break. They've managed to neutralize the explosive playmakers on each side by shutting down passing windows and providing tight coverage. Forget the Jimmies and Joes. This second half could really be about the X's and O's. And with that, let's send it back to the guys along the banks of the Hudson inside venerable Mikey Stadium. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed in the middle. It's Benson. And man, this quarterback has had a day with that pass. He goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the other man. Now on second and short after the first down completion. Out of the gun to give to the back. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to bully their way for the first. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. And the defense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. A strike downfield. And stampeding through the defense. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. Really nice job working the crossing route there. And I love the separation at the top of the route. He put his foot in the ground. He used his speed. And that allowed him to make the catch and get a few more yards after the play. They used a chunk play to cross midfield, and they've got it first and 10 just outside the 40. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. They've avoided the interception all day, but they were lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Oh, and on defense, you just got to be able to finish that play. That defender had the football in his hands. He's just got to catch it. That should have been an interception. Running backs on either side of the quarterback. He's looking for a man on second down. Here he goes breaking the pocket. He'll pull it down and run. Brought down at the 28. A chunk play, 15 yards on that one, and a first down. 
Well, he does a really nice job buying time, and I love the awareness there, understanding no one's open downfield, knowing where the sticks are, and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down. The Black Knights getting set on first and ten. From the shotgun, the inside give. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. There's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. Keeps those legs churning for three yards. He's down at the nine. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. Wants to fire on second down. Picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good covering corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. And you saw it on that last play coming away with the pick. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. At the 35, he's open. He's off to the races. Touchdown, Army! And the Give to the running back. Only a short gain on that run. Defense played it well. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Give to the back. Picks up the first down, still moving. Oh, sick, nasty move, and he's loose. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Lining up from the 34 on first down. To the ground with the back. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Hand off from the shotgun. And he's brought down after the spin move for a short gain. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. In the red area, it's Robinson. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And we have breaking news. They score yet another touchdown. On the run, it's Robinson. At the 35, he's got room. And what a huge play for this offense after that great run. Yeah, and this is why he's leading the nation in Russia. Like, you give him the football, and he'll continue to make big plays. He's done it all throughout the season. This offense features him, and there is a reason why. They might be thinking back-to-back -back big plays after that last one. First and 10 from the 32. They're going to ride this running back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up.
winning those individual six-second battles every play, time after time after time after time, and that leads to a victory here. And I love when teams go out and play like it's sudden death. Like if they lose the game, their entire season is over. This game wasn't for the national championship, but wouldn't, you wouldn't know that watching this winning team, David. Tremendous effort and tremendous execution. I love competitive people. I love competitive coaches. I love competitive teams that they know that their job is to go out and get a W no matter how, no matter where you play. You want to play in the parking lot? We'll go meet you. Great job of this team being ready, getting the W. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.